All right, so at the present time in the universe, the universe is made up of 4.9% normal matter. These are stars, galaxies, dust, gas, you and me, and even black holes. We're pretty sure all the black holes in the universe are just made from dead stars, so they get included in that 4.9%. Plus there's dark matter, which right now we estimate to be about 26.8% of the total amount of stuff in the universe. Dark energy is 69.2% of the universe. The majority of the universe is, in fact, dark energy. Uh, there's also some neutrinos floating around, like less than 0.5%, and there's radiation. All the photons total in the universe add up to less than 0.01% of the universe. So first take a moment to appreciate the fact that we can actually measure these numbers to such high precision. Like we know them to less than a tenth of a percent. That's kind of a cool fact. Second, take another moment to appreciate the fact that everything you know and love, stars and galaxies, you and me, everything that we consider normal stuff, takes up less than 5% of the total amount of stuff in the universe. 95% of the universe is almost completely unknown. We don't fully understand dark matter, and we fully don't understand dark energy. These are complete mysteries to us. But the problem of trying to solve dark energy, that, that's a question for another show. For now, I just want to highlight something else about the makeup of the universe. Dark energy is about three quarters, and then dark matter is about one quarter of the total amount of stuff in the universe. Does that seem a little odd to you? I mean, usually in physics, when one thing is in charge of a situation, when there's some component that's dominating a physical situation, it really does dominate. It, it doesn't have this kind of weird balancing act. And in fact, we find ourselves now in the present day at a very lucky window. In the distant past, when the universe was much smaller, the matter density was very high. You had the same amount of stuff, but crammed into a smaller volume of universe. So its density was very high. And comparatively, the energy density of dark energy was relatively low compared to that very high amount. And then the far, 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 far future, like billions of years from now, the dark matter and all matter will be so diluted, the same amount of stuff spread out over such a big volume, that its density will be essentially zero. It would be like where radiation is today. It just doesn't play a role. And the entire universe will be 100% essentially dominated by dark energy. But we're right now in this weird kind of transitional epoch where dark energy is dominating, but not all the way. And dark matter is on its way out, but it's still here a little bit. So it's this weird balancing act. Could it be, could it be just a coincidence? Like we just happen to arise into consciousness and we happen to be observing the universe in this very narrow epoch where dark matter and dark energy are about the same. This window only lasts a few billion years, which to the lifetime of the universe is nothing. Or is it telling us something more? Is it a clue? Is it telling us that maybe dark matter and dark energy talk to each other? Maybe there's extra forces of nature in the dark sector that only are they're only felt by dark matter and dark energy. And so it's not a coincidence that they have the same values today, but they actually track each other. They actually talk to each other. And so they're always keeping about the same values. We honestly don't know. This is an active area of research because we don't fully understand dark matter, we fully don't understand dark energy, and we don't know if there's any extra interactions between them. It could just be a coincidence that we just happen to be seeing the universe at the right time where there's this balance between dark matter and dark energy, but it could be a hint of something more, some 
a window into new physics. We honestly don't know. Hey, it's me again. I know you just watched a few minutes of me, but who couldn't use a little bit more me? I'm just here to beg you to please subscribe. And if I remember, there's going to be a button like right here uh, where I'm vaguely gesturing so that you can click the button and subscribe and it's super handy. Uh, this is so that you can get the latest updates of all my shows. I mean, that's basically how it works. So if you like what you just saw, uh, you'll get more of it if you subscribe. Super easy.